Let's pray. Open our ears, O Lord, to hear your word and know your voice. Speak to our hearts and strengthen our wills that we may hear you today, now and always. Amen. March 29, today is the 88th day of the year 2020 and still we have 277 days to see 2021. We have to thank God from deep down of our heart that he enabled us to see this day. Today we are in a situation the whole world has been plunked into turmoil because of the coronavirus. This pandemic is affecting each and every one in the world regardless of color, regardless of age, regardless of gender, regardless of religion. Many people including all Christians we are in a state of panic. It is not what happens to us that matters, but our reaction or response to what happens to us and how do we respond as Christians matters. As Christians, it is very important that we stand on the word of God and his promises to us because any other ground is a sinking sand. Our success or victory is determined by our positioning and faith in God. As a child of God, we are safe. As a child of God, we are protected in Christ. Our life is hid with Christ in God. There is no need to panic. However, this doesn't mean throwing away the reason. Faith replaces fear. The world works with common sense and fear. But while we Christians operate with faith and also common sense. For example, we cannot say, as I am a believer, I can jump from a hundred story building and God will save me. The law of gravity will kick us and he will take us to heaven. We should still take some precautionary measures of hygiene and avoid unnecessary exposure to potential infection. And this doesn't mean lack of faith. I believe that these practical steps are very important and trust in the Lord is the key. In Psalm 91, we see God's protection to us. Psalm 91 verse 1 is an excellent passage that shows the advantage of dwelling in God's presence especially in the light of the various challenges that we face on a daily basis in this world. It says Psalm 91.1 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is a promise of favor and protection to those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, not those who visit it is about abiding in Christ. This is what makes the difference. In Psalm 91 verse 4 says, He shall cover you with his feather and under his wings you shall take refuge. This is a word picture of how your mother hen spreads her wings and protects her chicks from rain protects her chicks from sun, protects her chicks from hail or whatever. 
when the chicks are under the wings of the mother hen it is the safest place the mother hen protects the chicks in the same way when we are under god's wings nothing can penetrate god's wings if we abide under the almighty's wings we are safe but if we walk out of the secret place we can't blame god whatever it happen our only refuge is god's wings this time this is the place that we have to remain in the secret place verse 5 6 and 7 says you shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday a thousand may fall at your side and 10000 at your right hand but it shall not come near you even the current plague will not come near you if we have this promise in our life this is the promising protection from all troubles that we face today this is the greatest promise that god has given each and every one of us we should not be panic at this time so god is our only refuge this time god is a refuge for us in times of every danger He is a place of safety for us to run to for help and solace. When we are forsaken by everyone in this world also, even still we can find refuge in God. Then God is our fortress. In Psalm 91 verse 2 we can see God is our fortress. God is a fortress in our lives. He is the strongest protection for each and every one of us. No enemy, no attack, no destruction can penetrate the fortress to destroy our lives. Even in times of war, there will be bomb shelters where people can be safe inside. They can be saved themselves from the destruction of bombs. God is stronger than any human shelter. when we careful when we are very careful to stay inside the fortress of god's presence we can be safe in any situation then god is a keeper god is a keeper god humbles himself to be our keeper even cain who murdered his brother abel asked am i my brother's keeper how much cash god cash for us in order to be our keeper we know every day every single day he is carrying us god neither slumbers god neither sleeps he constantly watches over us he keeps our soul he keeps us alive still why that is a purpose why that is a purpose God is still carrying us he is taking care of us so he is keeping us from all evil he keeps our going and he keeps our coming in then we see God is our shade God is our only shade the shade from the direct sun it is protecting us the heat of the sun may be very severe but when we are in shade it reduces the heat that we actually experience similarly the problems and difficulties we face may be very severe but when god is a shade in our lives we do not face the direct attack of these difficulties we are kept in the shade provided by god and the pain we actually experience is greatly reduced by his shade God is our strength in our lives. Whatever we are unable to do in our strength, we are enabled to do with the strength of God. Apostle Paul says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. 
God's strength enables us to bear those all the difficulties and burdens that we face now that we could not able to bear in our strength but when God is with us we can able to bear everything in all our weakness his strength will be made available to us when we seek for it God is a very present help in our trouble he is always present with us even when no one else is with us he will be very close and he will be knowing all our pain and agony he never leaves us alone we need not panic when there is no one to help us in trouble because god is present there to help us then we should not lose our faith and confidence the word of god tells us not to lose our confidence which has great reward of a spiritual victory depends on our faith peter walked on the water as long as he looked to jesus and had faith in him but he began to drown as soon as he lost his faith he was filled with fear because he started looking at the storm he started looking at the waves that surrounded him in our own lives also we can walk in victory as long as we are firm in our faith in god's goodness and in god's faithfulness but we will drown in our problems and difficulties if we lose our faith and begin to doubt and begin to fear by seeing the situation around us finally we should not forget god's timing the word of god tells us that god has a time for everything god has a time for everything in the first miracle that jesus did at the cana he waited for god's time even for the son of god jesus he has a time then we also have a time when abraham had to sacrifice his son isaac god waited till the last moment to stop him in the life of joseph also we see he was tested severely till god's time came for him to be delivered so we have to remember the timing of god in our lives and to not worry about anything god is still at work every day god is still at work every second just we have to wait for the god what we have to do in this time of lockdown we must choose to spend time with god we must choose to have fellowship with god in prayer we must choose to feed upon the word of god we must choose to be witnesses for christ to all our neighbors and friends and even our family members we must choose to live for christ instead of ourselves we must choose to place god as the top priority in our lives we must choose how to use the talents as resources and opportunities that god places in our lives for the betterment of others and for the glory of god one of the greatest choices that we can make is to obey god in everything the final days are coming the final days are coming every day god is depositing 1440 minutes a day in our life and we have 168 hours per week in our life now you cannot say i don't have time that i can read bible i don't have time that i want and pray no no excuse is given here you have the time right in your hand you have to use your time wisely the days are really becoming evil jesus is coming soon just time runs and rolls 
Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16 redeem the time because the day are evil the days are becoming evil you have to think wisely you have to use your time wisely that we must consciously strive to follow Christ every day in order to live a life of faithfulness to God we must choose to walk by faith and we have to make good decisions every day that we can move closer to God every day that God is taking care of us every day and God is with us every day he is he is seeing us every day and his protection will be with us each and every one every day he will be with us as he said i will never leave you and i will be never forsake you that he will be with us until the end of the earth we never know how long we may live we never know what will happen tomorrow but as the bible says in amos 4 12 prepare to meet your god we have to be ready at all times as Matthew 24 44 says be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect he is coming again line of Judah Jesus Christ is coming again are we ready to meet him are we ready to meet him are we ready to meet him may God bless his words Let's pray. Open our ears, O oh Lord, to hear your word.